So first of all, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store, Game Pass users can also try steps from this video. The link is provided in the video description. So I made a separate video if you are unable to launch the game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store. Now, the first step is to install the game on SSD instead of HDD. So try to install the game to solid state drive and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to delete the config folder. Now when you de delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So if you agree, you can open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items. Then open app data folder. Open the local folder. Open 11-bit studios folder. Open Frostpunk 2. Steam. Saved. And then here you can see config folder. If you want to create a backup, you can just copy and paste it to the desktop. Whenever you want to put it back, you can always put it back. So delete the config folder. All the saved settings will be lost when you delete this and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can close this, launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time type in dash D3 D11 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash d3 d12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working remove this follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now for amd card users uh, you can before the installation of current driver, the latest driver, uninstall the current driver which is installed in computer. So uninstall the driver, AMD graphic card driver, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. For NVIDIA users, you can go to NVIDIA website. So go to NVIDIA website, select product category. For me, it's GeForce. Now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in window search box and then go to graphics settings click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added in my case the game is already added Now once the game is added, click on the game, click on options, select high performance over here. Now click on save. Again click on browse. This time open Frostpunk 2 folder, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, now click on options, select high performance over here. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, just make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, then go to properties, go to the go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. 
make a double click launch the game still not working then go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working open this frostpunk 2 folder binaries win64 select this exe file make a right click select properties do the same thing put a check on run as run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then go to and then select over here windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok now it's still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then make a right click once again properties go to this tab once again click on change high dpi settings put a check on override high dpi scaling behavior and select application over here hit ok click on apply click on ok now launch the game and then check still not working then you can go to properties and then click on change high dpi settings uncheck this box then click on ok click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and this time open frostpunk 2 binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then this time open frostpunk 2 binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver to the older version so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website and then you can once you are once you go to the nvidia website now select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card drive operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down and then the latest one right now is uh, 561.09 so you can try 560.94 or maybe 560.81 download it but when you download it when you run the exe file go for clean installation so put a check on the box which says clean installation and then restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte 
So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49151 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 file so download and install both these files once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, any kind of USB dongle connected, disconnect it. If you have extra joystick or controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try to launch the game on single monitor. Now, if you have like any third party application running or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then check now if you have overlay on in discord if you're using discord turn off overlay in discord settings go to g force experience settings if you have it running and then go to settings and then turn off in game overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overlocking application like if you have MSI afterburner Riva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then launch the game and then check also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game you can perform the next step but if you are able to launch the game, you can try these steps. Now, once you launch the game, go to settings and then go to graphics. Now, if this is set to window full screen, you can switch to window mode. You can even try full screen. So I will set it to window mode. Now, if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And if the VSync is on, you can turn it off and then check. If the VSync is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Frame limit, uh, I will set it to 60. So if this is like unlimited, you can set it to maybe 120. I will set it to 60. Now, if you are using FSR in that case, if the frame generation is on, you can turn this off. Even if you are using DLSS in that also, if the frame generation is generation is on you can turn it off so i will set it to fsr 
you can even try this TSR. Now, for me, I will set it to FSR. I will turn off frame generation. Now, if upscaling quality is set to like, you can set it to performance or you can set it to quality. So I will set it to quality. So if this is set to ultra quality or ultra performance, you can set it to quality or you can set it to performance. I will set it to quality. And then even if you're using DLSS, set it to quality. Scroll down. Now over here, if preset is set to ultra high, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium. So I will set it to medium. Apply the changes and then check the performance. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. Select your model number. Once you select your computer, find the BIOS update, find the latest BIOS. And once you find the BIOS, download it, install it. But, but in case of laptop, make sure before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During this BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.